So making baleage is fairly simple, but there are a few key rules that we have to follow if we're going to make baleage. And this is true no matter what the moisture content of that baleage is that we're making. Uh, the first thing is, is that we do need to buy good plastic. Uh, the plastic does break down under sunlight if it does not have ultraviolet inhibitors in it. And the better plastic has more inhibitors. So I do recommend buying plastic from a dealer that uh, handles machinery or from uh, that one that handles preservative. Uh, buying the cheap plastic results in plastic that breaks down faster. The next important thing is to wrap the baleage as soon after making it as possible. In either, in wet hay, it starts to heat. We should recognize heat as a loss of energy that is not then available to the animals that we want to feed this hay to. Now, the sooner we wrap the plastic, the sooner it uses up its oxygen and the less heating that occurs. In studies that we did, when we wrapped immediately, the hay only increased in temperature 10 or 15 degrees. If we waited 24 to 48 hours, that hay may raise 50 or 60 degrees in temperature, and then that may last for a week or more. So that is very important to wrap the hay quickly to reduce that heating that occurs. The other important thing then is to wrap with six layers of plastic, and some professional wrappers would say more, but a minimum of six layers. The reason is, is that when we stretch the plastic, even very good plastic, uh, oxygen can diffuse through a single layer. And we have found from the studies that we have done that if we wrap with three or four layers, we do reduce the oxygen, but that hay still heats above air temperature and stays above air temperature because mold is growing inside. So six layers eliminates the ability of oxygen to move from the air into the bale, and then once uh, the microbes and plants inside use up the oxygen, it stays anaerobic and is preserved. The other thing that we talk about then is um, placement of the bales. You want to be sure to move them off the field. Uh, I have seen bales that were in ponds of water because people put them in low spots that flooded when it rained. Uh, you might also think about uh, how easy it is to move those bales to wherever you want to feed over winter. Will snow drifts block the way? It is probably worthwhile if you're going to put them in a row to make a north-south row so that the sun hits more sides of the plastic and doesn't focus on one portion and cause it to degrade, because even the best plastic will. And then lastly, in regions, uh, I do strongly recommend not putting it near to trees because birds will land on the trees and then move on to the bales and their claws will punch holes in the plastic and you will have leakage. So it's important to store the hay in an area where it will not suffer damage and where it is accessible at all times of the year.